Well, first off, as I said, I wanted to ask you um, in a general way um, what you think is the what you think are the, the some of the main ways that art and artists uh, are contributing and can contribute um, to the broader effort to achieve a more sustainable society and more sustainability broadly defined. Oh, well, I think the work and thinking of artists in the last oh. Uh, 20 years has really addressed societal issues. And so artists are using their creativity and their, their unique uh, and individualistic points of view to really have help society look at other issues. Artists in the last two decades have come outside of the studio and are beginning to look at issues including the, uh, the edgy neighborhoods in which they live in, which then lead to environmental conditions, lead to um, awareness of the community at large. You know, if you live in an edgy neighborhood, an edgy could be on the edge of a field or in the edge of a slum. Uh, artists begin to identify with those, with the environment and create lenses on problems and opportunities within our communities. So I think really the work and thinking of artists can help individuals, the scientific community, the business community, and uh, us smaller subsets of our individual communities to really help us look at where we are and how we got there, both as a reflective lens, a historical lens, and then a kaleidoscope of possibilities and criticisms of different issues. Um, in your own work, uh, what is, in general terms, what is your goal? What, what do you hope to accomplish uh, with your work uh, about environmental um, problems, environmental issues, and broadly speaking about sustainability. And if, if you could please talk about how you go about trying to, um, uh, you know, approach your goal through a concrete example or two about mm -hmm. some specific projects you, you've done. Well, I, my work is really, uh, is both within the studio and for um, the high art community as well as a public art community. So the pieces that I do that have a sustainable content are really trying to be, are designed to be uh, accessible to a general audience. So I deal with content that's easily recognizable. Uh, building houses out of trees, people recognize a tree, people recognize a house. You go into a tree that becomes a house that's growing and you see it changing over time in your community. There's a metaphoric, there are unique uh, and individualistic points of view to the artist, but there's an opportunity that enough, the artist to create it to think about the environment. Similarly with works that I've done uh, about the exhibition of soil, which is a permanent exhibition that changes constantly throughout the globe. You know, my checklist, checklist was an exhibition guide to get people to think about what soil, where soil comes from, what happens when we build on soil, move it, um, in, in very simple terms that could be provocative to a soil scientist. I use the word dirt, but it's also uh, educational for young people, children, I think contributors that include uh, our rocks, our time, our slope, and our humidity. Mm. Um, and I try to do it all with a sense of humor. Well, um, uh, how do you think um, uh, that um, uh, science and the arts uh, intersect or relate to one another in the area of sustainability? Um, and, you know, you could address that generally if, if you like, or uh, with regard to your own work, um, a, a few possible thoughts come to mind. That does science inform your work? Is your work based on science? Are you commenting on science? Are you critiquing science? Are you trying to bring scientific findings to a broader awareness? Or something else entirely different? Um, what is the relationship between science and art um, in the sustainability area? Oh, well, that's a very broad question, but I think the general, the relationship that I find between scientists and artists is that we're both very, they help society look at other issues. Artists in the last two days who are kind of odd, people who really are interested in the world outside who are interested in effect, in vision, and who are curious to see how things can come together or how they come apart. Um, in my personal practice, I'm a sculptor, 
sculptors are different than painters, I have to say, because we build things and make them stand up. And I think in the same way there are theoretical scientists and then there are practical application scientists. There are slightly different nuances of those professions, but I think within the sustainability field there's also a sense of uh, hope and really a sense of, a, a great, you know, of helping to a greater good, to a be building a better community through your work. And so I think scientists like artists work 60, 70 hours a week on something that may not pay off for years. Uh, they are very visionary people, sometimes misguided. Um, but the practice of sustainability creates this conversation so you know you have to work with others. You do not work alone. And I think that's the unique thing about artists who choose to work in the sustainability aspect, that you're, you are uh, working with scientists. You know you need those conversations. In my own work, all facts are true. I fact check all of my brochures. I work with, uh, for projects with trees. I work with arborists and horticulturists. I work with soil scientists. I uh, with my water, wooden quantity, wind, project. I'm working with uh, air quality people. So all of my work is supported by science, scientific fact. Uh, and I see my creative efforts as a translation of that fact to a more open-ended experience, perhaps more poetic. And the goal of my work is to get people to kind of slow down, speak, look, and analyze. Really to get them to think if I had the broadest of uh, aspirations. But I think artwork, like science, requires repeated experience. You have to go back and look at it again and again and again, and then you begin to see a deeper level. And that's, you know, in the broadest sense, I think that's what we really have in common. In terms of sustainability, you just have to, outside of the studio, and are beginning to look at issues including the